The dreams to help poor and needy people didn't stop when the late Tajid Ali passed away. His dreams continue as his family and other friends, as well as generous people in society, have raised their hands. A simple dream to bring a smile to the faces of the helpless poor in Bangladesh. Al Tajid Foundation, a helping hand in Bangladesh. Al Tajid Foundation was established in 2005 by members of the late Tajid Ali's family who wanted to celebrate his life and charitable work. Based in Ipswich, Suffolk, Al Tajid Foundation has been undertaking charitable activities in Silhet, Bangladesh for over a decade. Al Tazid Foundation works among the poor in northeast Bangladesh, centering on villages and outlying hamlets in the Silhet district. These villages and many of the inhabitants are known personally to family members of Al Tazid Foundation. Al Tazid Foundation has been running since 2005. We've been doing many different projects, um, uh, including educational support, uh, financial help for the poor, poor and needy, housing and maintenance, which means we build houses and maintain houses for people who desperately need our support. The foundation has helped more than 15,000 poor and needy people, especially vulnerable women, children, orphans and the disabled. <laughs> The main projects of the foundation are access to clean water, free eye cataract clinics, wheelchairs for the disabled, warm clothes for poor families, educational packs for poor students, rehousing and sustainable employment for poor families. To provide clean and pure drinking water, the foundation has drilled many deep tube wells for use by the poorest in the local population. The first eye clinic event was held in 2011. It opened Altazid Foundation's awareness to an important public health issue. 300 people turned up to the first one-day event and received treatment. Since then, in 2015, 838 people turned up to a similar event and in 2017, our eye clinic treated over 1,000 patients. Wheelchairs are expensive items, and those who are very poor as well as disabled could not dream of buying one. By providing a wheelchair, we enable them to lead as normal a life as possible. <laughs> In a third world country like Bangladesh, 
The poorest people even struggle to provide warm clothes for their children and the elderly. Our warm clothes project is very popular and the foundation has helped thousands of people to keep themselves warm and safe, especially in the winter. A small donation of just 15 pounds can provide a pack of clothes for a family of four people. The foundation wants to offer 500 of these during 2019. We will also want to continue issuing free warm blankets for the poor and destitute to wear over their shoulders. Al Tazid Foundation has financed refurbishment of several schools. We are also promoting educational achievement among school children with free education packs and special achievement awards. We have been able to do Al Tazid Foundation for 2011 to do a tribal and a lot of expenses. We have been able to do a lot of work. खाल টিবলের বাদ থেকে আমরা বিশুদ্ধ পানি খাবার সুযোগ পেয়েছি যে আপনারা আমরা লগে আওয়াজ আওয়া উঠা বসা মায়া मोहब्बत খুব সুন্দরভাবে আপনারা রাখরা সব সময় যোগাযোগ রাখরা আমরা লগে ফোনে ফজিয়াজা বিচাপ তাই তাই নো ও আপনার কাছ থেকে মনে হয় আদল লাখ টাকার মতো দিছেন আর ও দিছেন আপনারা ব্রেঙ্কস টিউ কল ও গর আমরা অফিস কুটা লাগি মনে টাকা কিছু দিছেন मुसुल्लिद the foundation has supported and continues to support hundreds of poor and needy people financially each year. Many of them are young people and many vulnerable adults are helped as well. Wherever we can, we try to ensure that this means access to sustainable employment. <laughs> Rebuilding a house is beyond the dream of many poor people. Al Tazid Foundation has built and maintained many houses over the years and still continues doing so. Each house costs around 1,800 to 2,000 pounds. All of these projects have been donated and delivered because of our friends and families' ongoing contributions and our fundraising. And for me it's very important for two reasons. First of all, it shows what can happen through enterprise and prosperity in this community here in Ipswich, wider community here in Ipswich, uh, which is enabling good works and charitable works to be done around the world. And the second reason is because of where that charity is happening. It's happening in one of the poorest parts of the globe, in Silet. You know, the projects that it's doing are, you know, they're just fantastic. Uh, really tackling some of, the, some of the big issues that can make a real difference to people's lives. Our charity maintains an important policy of zero administration costs. Our core costs are all covered by separate donations and given by individual members of our board of trustees. British Bangladeshis who were raised in the, uh, and grew up in this country, um, we have a link with that country and very much keen always to support whenever we can uh, the causes uh, uh, that will promote um, the welfare of the Bangladeshi people. We urge all our friends to continue their good work and help us to achieve all our aims. I think the work that the Al Foundation does is really good. 
It, a friend of mine has been out there to see the work that's been done and he was really impressed. He came back. I would like to thank the LTC Foundation for all the great work that they do. Uh, you enrich our community with the work that you do. The work that the Foundation is doing is actually helping to make uh, the villages in Silhet more uh, able to help themselves, to make the people who live there able to help themselves. When I look at what the, this foundation is achieving back in Bangladesh and other places and so on, I'm absolutely in awe of what they're doing. Basic things we take over here for granted like sanitation, basic health care and so on, doesn't exist for far too many people all over the world. So I'm very, very pleased to support uh, this wonderful organisation in any way I can do it. I would urge a lot of uh, big charities like ourselves in Rotary to help support Al Tazid because at the end of the day we are only humans and we can only do the best we can do and we should be able to help our fellow man wherever they are, whatever the colour, creed or religion that they have. Al Tazid Foundation, a helping hand in Bangladesh.